Hi everyone, Lisa here with a quick demo of Canva Docs in case you don't have it and you're just wondering what it can do. I haven't seen anyone go through the whole menu yet. So first, if you don't have Canva Docs, don't worry, it's in beta. So if you wanna sign up for it, just go to canva.com slash docs. I will leave a link to that below. But once you do, you can click sign up for Canva Docs and it will put you on a waiting list. Now, when you get taken off that waiting list, I'm not sure. I signed up right away when they announced you could be on the waiting list, which I think was like two months ago. Uh, and then I never got a notification that it was there. I simply went into my Canva docs and let me move myself over here. Um, and I saw you might wanna try docs. And I was like, oh, Canva docs is here. Um, and also when I went to create a design, I saw the suggestion for doc. So. I don't know if that's because I'm a premium Canva member or I signed up early. I have no idea even when it arrived, but it doesn't matter if you go to the top or over here, there is a couple limitations on that. So let's go through those first. So if I click here, it is open to Canva doc. Now I can title my doc over here, test document. Um, and not plural. <laughs> and then what I can do, I will show you one limitation is I can't change the size of this or the orientation. So it can't be landscape, it can't be uh, portrait, it's just it's just what it is. Also, there are there's no page break. So what do I mean by that? If I just type in the word C or the word C down and down and I just keep going and going and going, I don't see a page break. So in Microsoft Word and in Google Docs, eventually, you hit a page break. This is basically just one long scroll. Like I picture those people back in the olden days where they just had a piece of paper and they would just kind of, you know, wind it around a scroll. That's what you have going on here. You'll never see a page break. There's no pages in here. Now, because of that, another limitation is you cannot put a planner in here because there's no pages inside of here. Um, and planners need pages. You need to be able to turn the pages. So when I print this, I know what you're thinking, what happens when you, when you print this, it naturally will have page breaks. So if I go to share this um, and I want to download this and I'm gonna download this as, now we have sizes all of a sudden, right? So now I'm gonna download this as a letter and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like in this PDF, which let me bring this over here. So this is Adobe Acrobat over here, make it smaller. And so Adobe Acrobat needs page breaks. So it has naturally inserted page breaks inside of there. So yeah, when I print it out, yeah, sure there are page breaks, but when I'm actually inside of Canva Docs, there are no page breaks. So those are, from what I can tell, the three basic limitations, as well as there's a limitation on the design and the table, the timer, and I'll show you those as we go along. All right, when you come up here, you are gonna go, let's just go ahead and get rid of all this. Let's just hit the delete key. Um, I already showed you how to use the AI, AI. So there's two ways to get to that menu. You can hit the plus sign and you'll see all these different options for things you can insert into your Canva doc. Or if the cursor's just there, I can hit the slash key and it will automatically bring up this menu. Don't worry, if I hit the cursor over here, it will put a slash in if that's what you intended to put into your document. Um, but otherwise, if I hit the slash, I can just bring this up. So magic right, remember, is the AI. So how, so I'll say top five tips on how to sell planners. And it will magically write this listicle for me. And honestly, I think it does a pretty good job. So we have create a detailed marketing plan, utilize social media, offer incentives, make sure your products of high quality, focus on customer service. And I did this test before and they were different. So each time it's like a random generator of text. So you could just keep trying over and over again. In fact, I'll show you again. Um, let's do magic right. And let's say top five tips on how to sell planners. And I bet it will come out with something different. After I said that, maybe it won't. Okay, create a compelling brand story. Use social media to build awareness. Offer discounts and special offers. Run contests and giveaways. Reach out to influencers. You don't need a business coach anymore. Canva will be your business coach for you now. So I really just, I love this feature. I think it's very well done. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next item, which is design. Now, this is where there's a limitation. When I say design, it is going to stick in this 2000 by 600 pixel design. So I clicked inside there because I was like, ah, maybe I can resize that. 
I cannot resize that. So I can stick anything I want in here. It's kind of already chosen 2000 by 600 pixel designs. Um, I don't need to keep that. I can get rid of all these things, in fact. Uh, and I can design something else. So I can take my own uploads. Uh, what do I have here? I have a picture of Lucky I could stick in there. I have a picture of myself I could stick over here. And I can add different elements like you could before. So I could add this squiggly line up here. I could add, I don't even know what this is, a chart looking thing over there and change it around. So you can do all of these things. And then when you're done, you're just gonna go ahead and say, save. Now, here's where the limitation comes in. One, I can't really move this around. So I can resize it, right? But it works kind of like Microsoft Word. I can just kind of move it up and down. I can't like make it um, like a website, right? And kind of move it over to the right of something. It's like, it's done. That's, it's like, this is where I'm gonna be. Peace out. So this is, let me move myself over here. Uh, so that's one limitation. Now let's go on to another thing, um, heading. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. Heading one. And then we're gonna do subheading, subheading, and then we're gonna do body. So it will automatically size things for you just like you have inside of Google Docs. Um, so that's a nice feature. The next one is embed. So I could actually embed one of my other Canva designs into here. So how do I do that? First, it's gonna ask me for my paste and embed link. And you're like, well, what? I don't remember where my paste and pad link is. So let's go ahead and go over to Canva. You're going to have to go ahead and find one of your projects. So let's say it is, I don't even know. How about this? This was, I was trying to use that other AI tool. So we'll just use this design. I will click share and then I will go over here and we'll select embed. Now when I select embed, um, we are going to go ahead and copy that Smart Embed link. So right here, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to my original document over here. Now I'm gonna try to add that in again. So we are going to go down to the Embed option and now I can paste my Embed link, hit the Return button, and there it is. My document is now here. Now they claim that you can actually edit this inside of here. I haven't found that to be the case. I think maybe in the future, right now it's beta, I can't edit that. And in fact, I can't even, even this one, I can't edit this design either once I have made it. Um, so again, beta, so we're not going to ding them for anything because they're just trying it out. I think it's great that they got this out. Now tables, tables I think were new or something added to here. So if you're in my audience, you're probably like, oh, I wanna make a planner. So there's seven days in the week, say there's five weeks or six weeks to be safe. Um, and we'll insert this table. Now here's the problem. See that little slider? It's because I can't make this landscape, it's just too small. So even if I change the text, I know what you're thinking, I can just resize it. I mean, kind of, Monday, Tuesday, we have Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so all of these are looking pretty good where they're, you know, they're not taking up a lot of space. And I could go back and reformat all of these to be single, you know, center space, but forget that. We're actually gonna go ahead and try to make these smaller. So we're thinking we're gonna just shift this whole thing over so it can fit, which it kind of can, but it can't. So we get to Thursday, we get to Friday, and then now we're at Saturday. And for whatever reason, I don't see that little arrow to move it over. <laughs> Instead, I just have it. It's kind of set. That's that's the size it wants to be. Um, and I cannot change this row at all or the sizes or anything. Now, I still can actually let me go over here. And maybe there's a tool that I'm missing out on, but I could go over here and I can change this color and I can change it here to blue, dark blue, whatever color I want. So that is kind of nice. Um, but again, I'm kind of stuck with this odd shaped table. I'm not really sure how to fix that. Um, so that's that. So let's move on. And yes, you can change the whole size of the table inside a regular Canva 
like design as long as it's not Canva Docs. So uh, moving down the line. Uh, all right, so now we have just regular formatting, checklist, bullet list, number list. So instead of rewriting something, I'm gonna come back up here to our list over here. And we are going to change these to bullets. We can change that here at the top to bullets. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I lied. We cannot, I thought I was gonna be able to reformat that. Okay, so we are going to hit the return button. Whoops. The slash button. And we're gonna go ahead and say checklist. Item one, item two, item three. So it's gonna keep going until I'm done. I'll hit another return. And so now I have the slash again. And it looks like I have to just do it at the time. Bullet one, bullet two, bullet three. All right, so I can't go back. Can I go back? I don't think I can go back and change any of these things. All right, so let's go over here. Let's hit a slash again. We'll try the numbered list. Number one, number two, number three. All right, so uh, let's move on. So we're gonna go through here. Emojis, you can add an emoji. Any emoji that pretty much exists out there, we can add it in right here. So it's kind of funny because it looks so weird in the actual emoji picture where you're like, ah, this doesn't exactly look like I want, but then when it makes the emoji, it looks like a regular emoji that you would have on your phone. All right, making it through the list, pie chart. So pie chart, now this is interesting. So you get the pie chart over here, you can enter the data. As far as I can tell, uh, you can keep adding new rows onto here. Um, let me move this down. Now this, you can size to make a little smaller and it will kind of make the whole thing proportional, but it can only go this small and then it can go wide. You can't actually, you don't see those little white bars to make it taller and you don't see uh, any corner bars or you don't have the ability to kind of move this anywhere except up and down like we did before with the other design. Um, and it looks the same exact way with all of the other charts that you have as well. So we have a bar chart and this document is not moving for me. There we go. Uh, same thing goes that big and small. I did not mean to hit the help key. Uh, and then the last one is the line chart. And same thing, we can make this small or big. Um, and then over here, we have the timer. So the timer, this is why I'm saying it's such a tragedy that this does not have page breaks automatically built inside of it or allow you to change the uh, size, the dimensions, or the orientation, or in fact, the margins. You cannot change the margins on this at all um, because the timer, a lot of writers like to do writing sprints. Now, this does have a limitation of just two digits on the left and two digits on the right. So if you want to set a timer for two hours, you cannot. The highest you can go is 99 uh, minutes and 60, I guess, 59 seconds. And then you can say, start. And over here, if you hover here, you can either turn that sound off or you can turn it back on. And this will just minimize this whole thing. So it's a tiny thing down here or it'll show up on your screen. So again, I think this is genius for writing sprints. Uh, if only this document was a little bit more sophisticated. So maybe in the future, we'll see that and have that ability. Um, and then next, and I know what you're thinking, can the timer be part of your document? It's not, I think it's just a timer to, like I said, for helping you with writing sprints or timing how long it takes you to do stuff. Logo, so if you have a logo inside the brand kit, and I did create the social media brand kit, you can use it here. Now, I've noticed as I go down the page, like here, I can't see anything else like below that. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure why uh, the document's doing that. But if we go here to the top and we turn this off, oh, turn that, oh, look at that. We can change it. I lied. We can change all of these into uh, the check mark, the number, or the dots. Anyways, so if I go over here to the top and then we go ahead and we go to logos, now I can see all of my options inside of here for whatever reason, as you go down the document, you cannot see those. Um, and I think we made it through everything. Oh, nope. And then the help over here, let me move myself over here, is trying to give you some help with the commands. As far as I can tell, it's only telling you um, 
to press the slash key to get the item. So I think they'll build it out. Oh, and I should say, you know, you're used to, if you're a Canva hardcore user, you're probably used to seeing templates all the time. So over here, when you do, let's go ahead and create a, um, a new Canva doc. And then when you create a new Canva doc and I hit templates, you're gonna see some templates in here. So here's the to-do list um, over here, and you can edit this as far as I can tell. Um, and nope, we can do another, yep, replace this. This document, which is about onboarding plans, super boring. So it's kind of funny because they have done designs inside of these templates, right? We weren't able to kind of move those things around. Um, but here it looks like you can move these around. Um, can I move this? I can't move that. I can just make her bigger or smaller. Um, so you could play around with these templates. Now there's not a lot of templates. Um, let's go ahead and click see all. Uh, there's a few inside of here. I think one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I can't do math. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten times three. So maybe like 30 templates in here. But again, they're just getting started. And because these templates do have better design functionality inside of them, I'm assuming once Canva Docs kind of gets up and going, it will also have better functionality inside of here for how you can design and lay things out. But you'll notice everything inside here right now is just a one pager. Is this too, I mean, this looks kind of long to me. If the only way to say, tell if there's a page break right now, and let me move myself, is to actually download this. And then you can open it up inside of Adobe Acrobat and we can see inside of here, this is three pages. So we have uh, the page ending here, obviously naturally where the table is. So they must know. So if I didn't know that and I added some text over here, it would have pushed my table down. I wouldn't even know that the table was split between pages one and three. So I do see that as a big like issue. And then over here we have the picture, which makes sense. And then notes. And then over here, this week's grocery list. So even though we cannot see the page breaks, clearly the people over on the canvas side that are designing this are able to see those page breaks. They know exactly where they are and where to put them. And it's probably working out great. So um, I do see that as an issue. Hopefully that'll get fixed. But in the meantime, um, I, I'm just glad that Canva Docs is here. We can kind of play around with it uh, and excited to see what it is when it's done. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think you're gonna use Canva Docs? I mean, honestly, if it were me, the only thing I would use Canva Docs for right now is just the AI tool um, for writing blog posts. Cause I think it does actually a really great job of that. And I still have a video coming up where I'm gonna compare it to Jasper, which is a super expensive one. and. Uh, otherwise, I think formatting wise, it's like, you know, just guessing, shooting designs in the dark. You don't know where they're going to be. You can't really place things left and right, which is the whole point of, I think, Adobe InDesign solved that, that Canva and Microsoft Word can't do that. And that's why people use Adobe InDesign. So anyways, that's it for today. Just wanted to run through all those features in Canva Docs for you. I hope everyone's having a fabulous and wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.